big things for us. There's a lot of the small things too, like I was saying earlier, like he gets a hand in the passing lane or he'll get a finger on the ball, block a shot, or just sprints the floor and opens it up for everybody else. So if he plays like that, I think, like I said, I think we're going to feel like it. What about your guys' depth that Tyrese had that big game the last time, and then five different guys are in double digits tonight, other than just how many different ways you're going to do it? I would just say it shows kind of how dangerous we could be. Um, doesn't matter any given night. Like Tyrese had 26 the other night on the biggest stage, and then other guys got it going tonight. And like Tyrese is okay with that. We're okay with that. We're okay with it. Sorry, for the freshman scoring 26 points against Michigan State, like that's who we are. It could be him. It could be Ashley. It could be Amanda. It could be EJ, Nick, Khalil, Keon, anybody, Johnny, like anybody on any given night. It just so happened that other guys got it going tonight. What about Nick's play tonight? We talked about that solidly, but what about his play? No, Nick, I, I, I did say it earlier, Nick did such a fantastic job tonight. He played with a really high motor, grabbed a bunch of rebounds, was blocking shots, was dunking the ball. So, like, all those things kind of lead up into this big momentum shift where EKU's deflated when Nick catches a lob and throws it down. It's like, all right, well, now we have to come back and try to get a stop, and then Nick's protecting the rim. He blocks a shot, comes down, dunks it again. Like, that's such a big momentum shift, and then everybody in the arena is into the game. We're on the bench, everybody on the court is into the game, and it's kind of just like a, like a, a big deflation for them. What's How important is it to have somebody like Nick down there in the post? It's super important. I mean, you saw in the, the game that he didn't get to play in how different we were. Um, we didn't have that rim protector. Yeah, EJ was, is a rim protector, but he's not, he's not Nick, and Nick's not EJ. So like they both bring different things to the table, and I mean, obviously it's really, really hard to score on Nick when he, you're driving to the hoop and he's seven feet. 40 inch vertical, so helps us out a lot. What's it like seeing the guards harass just the ball handler at all times when you're just sit, kind of sitting back there? Honestly, I love it because I'm like, I would hate to be the guy dribbling the ball, and especially with Ashton. Tyrese has, has his hands full in practice when he's going against Ashton, and then when he comes in the game, it seems like it's a little bit easier for him. Um, but it's it's great, and then that leads to transition points, and that gets us going as a team. And then we come down, we get more stops, whether it's the guards, whether it's us down low getting stops, and then we can get out and run. What other stories have you heard from that Bucknell bus ride home? There? Oh, I think they they were kind of blowing it out of proportion with them pulling over, but uh, all my guys had texted me, my coaches had texted me, and they were just like, it's, it's such an amazing thing to see you playing for a team like that and playing in a at a venue like that, knowing where I came from and, and having the relationship I have with those guys is, is awesome. You've been in NCAA tournament before, but did you have a moment when you walked into the garden you're like, yeah, when away I from Emporia? Yeah, when I first came out for warm-ups, I was like, oof, there was, I, I, I wasn't nervous. I was just super excited to get out there and get playing, but it was, it kind of caught me off guard my first one time. Yeah, John Wall, pretty excited. What's it like seeing an NBA guy just hyped up over you playing? Well? It's, it's a dream come true for me. I mean, I'm, there's no NBA players from my hometown, but or any any place that I've really been, other than we had Mike Muscala at Bucknell, and that was cool. We got to meet him, but like when you when you hit a shot and you turn around and John Wall's standing up cheering you on, and then after the game he's in the locker room, and he's talking to you about it. It's like, whoa, kind of catches you off guard. But it, he's it was it was really cool for me to to have that experience. Jeff to say don't ask for his autograph. I did. I was trying not to fangirl. <laughs> Not every team loves playing defense, but this team really seems to. How much does this team really enjoy defending? I mean, we have to. For us to be the team that we want to be and to be really, really good, we, we need to defend. And Coach Barbie does a really good job every day of practice of, of making it a point of emphasis for us to defend the way we have to for 40 minutes. And if we don't, um, then we'll lose games that we shouldn't. And I think the past month and a half, month of practice, we have made huge strides in being better for longer periods of time and it's really starting to click and in, in practice it's the same way we have Ashton is picking up full court in practice and Ashton is harassing Tyrese Tyrese is harassing Ashton so it's for us to be the team that we really want to be and to go where we need to go we need to be great on defense I think so far we've done a really really good job with that you may have already mentioned